Right, what are we doing today? Well, some of the lights in the van have got little switches on. I'll show you. Do you see like them? Just on and off, on and off. And then you can see how bright they are. That's daylight. We've also got the same under there, as you can see. Now, this light here of a night time is ridiculously bright. So I'm having a look on Amazon and I'm looking for dimmer switches. And all the dimmer switches is this big knob and it's a big bulky thing and wasn't impressed. But then I found these. Which are them? Look at those. Little tiny boys. Now these are from a company called GVT. We haven't put them in yet. We haven't fitted them. We don't know if they'll work. They might work, they might not work. <coughs> Pardon? Come here and say hello. Come here. Right. Look into the camera and tell them it's going to work. Yeah? No? There. It's going to work. It's going to work. No. What these do is, when you touch them, the light comes on. Very similar to the ones up there. Touch them, light comes on. Hold your finger on them, and the light dims. So, touch them, light comes on. Touch them again, light goes off. Touch and hold, and the lights should dim. They work through decreasing the voltage in the actual something in there when you touch it decreases the voltage so the lamp should go dimmer we're gonna fit them we're gonna see if they're worth 15 pound each because that's what they were for that 15 pounds yeah okay might be massively massively overrated and it might be too expensive but they're just small and diddy and tiny and they should fit in the hole well that's another story the ones that are in there are 20 mil these ones are 17 the inner core is 17 the inner core on them is 19 so there's a two mil difference but i think i've got a bob the builder bot shop job coming on we'll see so get these wired in and let's see if they're worth the money because if they are brilliant let's be honest looks better that looks better than that although that does work and it serves a purpose that much better let's take this out and see if that will go in there without any manipulation this will either really work perfectly or will go tits up quicker than the titanic we shall see so first of all get this one out without damaging anything Ta -da! Right, that one's out. Need to unwire it from the back. Didn't think of that, did I? The wires are in the back of this cupboard. Because... Because we were happy with the switches, we didn't need to get to them. Because nobody would go on Amazon and find something different, would they? No! I mean, I'm saying this like it was Emma. Emma's got nothing to do with this. This is just me. Anyway, let's crack on, eh? Out comes the switch. It's a bit bigger, isn't it? We might need to um, manipulate things a little bit. We'll see. And Poppy's got that pissed off with me. She's gone to bed. I thought you may, you're meant to be helping. Are you not helping? No. You're going to bed. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got a problem here. Um, the switch. It falls in the hole. I hate it when holes are just not tight enough for when you're sticking things in them. And that is a baggy hole. Granted, 
The thing I'm sticking in is and has never been big enough to fill a big hole, but we'll see if we can dick eyes wire. Dick eyes why you may ask? What's dick eyes why? Well, it's like DIY for people who botch a lot of shit up. It's called dick eyes why. So we got a dick eyes wire. I've got the switch stuck in the hole, I can't get out. Why did I push it all the way in? It keeps getting jammed. Why? Why? See, me off now. Push it through the night. Sorry, Em. Just Em. Um... <laughs> the switch. So, what I'm going to do is this one is bigger than this one. Now, I think if I take the switch part out, cut the back off, then this will fit inside the housing. I'm about to push this in that, that in the hole. Jobs are good. Everybody out in the world, stop messing around. There you go, with a bit of DIY and a Dremel, we've ground the inside out and we've got that switch inside the old switch, which looks perfect. Right, so to connect our cables we're going to be using these little boys, uh, basically it's a shrink wrap tube with solder in the middle, and we can just put over like that, take the cable, what I like to do is I like to fold them both over like that and then give this a bit of a twist and then push the actual plug over the two of them and get the solder part right on the end where the joint is. Once you've got the solder on the part, just take your lighter, give it a heat up. And then the solder will collapse inside there, sealing them two cables together. And then the good thing about it, it's all shrink wrapped and it's all nice and it's all tidy and it can't do any damage because it's got heat shrink on it. So, do the other one, pop that over and then give it a heat. Right, so first switch is in, as you can see, it's on there. It just does light up blue, which eh, I don't know whether I like that or not, but it is what it is. But you'll see when I touch the switch, the light comes on. When I touch it again, it goes off. When I touch it and hold it, you'll see the light dims down. Hold it again, the light goes up. Whatever you set so say I was to turn it on and dim it down halfway. If I let go and turn that off now, when I turn it back on, it will turn back on halfway. So whatever you turn off set at, it automatically goes on. It comes back on at whatever you turn it off at. So off, on, hold it and dim. So we've just got to fit this one underneath there. So are these little switches from GVT worth £15 from Amazon? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, when you consider that inside there is a voltage regulator, it's a tiny little switch. It looks neat, it looks tidy, as you can see, it blends in. It's, there's no drama with it. There's just, just looks neat. You know, look at it. I think, 15 pounds, well worth it. Okay, you can get something similar, that is in a big bulky thing with a knob on it and a dial for about five, six pounds. The 
a lot more expensive but they look a lot nicer you know I'll leave links in the description affiliate links to Amazon where you won't get charged anymore but I might get about 0.3 of a pence that's how it goes that's what we do you know I'm not you know never gonna be a millionaire but I'll link it in the description just so if anyone wants one you can go and get them the the grace I think the billions I'm super pleased with that Emma doesn't know I've done this so we'll just have to wait and see what she thinks but if I know Emma she'll be like ooh fancy right next video this is a short one there's another one coming this week going to be fitting a mechanical ball valve a mechanical ball valve electronic ball valve a ball valve so I can actually dump the grey water tank from inside the cab my mate B Jam van put me on it and another van channel has done a video on it this week as well which hey what can you do so let me know what you think of these little things. Do you think they're worth the money? Would you spend £15 on one of them? It's entirely up to you. Depends how you want the look of your van. Depends if you want to blow £15 on a switch. It just, it's just entirely up to you. I personally think it's good. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And if you have not subscribed, why not, sir? Please subscribe to the channel. Show us some love. 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 Another video coming this week about the ball valve. Should be round about. Should be round about Thursday. Fingers crossed. And then we've done things to the van over there. Some of you know what it is, some of you don't. <gasps> bye bye.